guys have had to do cleanup on these things before, and there are, you brought some examples of some botched procedures. And I want right. to go through those quickly because I want people to understand how badly this can go. She's had some sort of a silicone, probably biopolymer injected, and you can see that the weight of that has pulled her lids down and she just has scarring all throughout her face. So what we're gonna try to do now is fix the lid, but it's gonna be hard because everything else is so scarred down that you won't be able to free it up to okay, pull Okay, so it this up. started with an injection? Inje illegal injection. Just an injection. I mean, yes. I want people to get that. This was something that could have been done at a meta spa or something or a party. They put in too much, it's heavy, it pulls it down, right? right. Here's another woman, and you can see same thing. See the little nodules around her eyelid? This is from illegal injections. First they look pretty good, then you start to get nodules. This is a patient who had uh, injections into her uh, buttocks that drifted to the thigh. Remember, all of these liquids that you put in can float. They don't necessarily stay where they are, and that's one of the dangers. It can actually get into the bloodstream. In that, in that case in Argentina, the woman actually died because it went to her lungs. This is a one, a patient of mine who had silicone to the chin, and you can't really appreciate it, but you can see the scarring there around the lower part of the chin right there. I operated him about four or five times because every two or three months, the silicone nodule will come to the surface. Okay, let me, let me correct something you said. This is, you said this is a patient of yours. This is someone that came to you to get this yes, fixed. Yes, right, to get it okay. fixed. Exactly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>